Okay, next, I'm going to show you a little bit more on what happens after the lines are created. What else can we do to it? We would be able to make further changes to it. Now, I'm going to select one of these lines down here. Okay, and I'm going to go to next under modify, under the modify tab. And I'm going to click on this little triangle here. And then you notice right now, within the line itself, there are other sub-selection modes. Okay, namely three. Now, let me introduce to you what they are. If we now click on vertex, you find that right now, these points, these line points are now selectable. And we can now use the move command to manipulate the vertex location. Now, if you look at this, if I right click on the move command to call out the transform type in, you will find that if I select on one of these points here, one of these vertex points here, these vertex points now appear, okay? The location appears in the XYZ location. So that, that will give us a good method, all right? To be able to enter the coordinates very precisely. Like in this case, let's say I want to change this to 1500, for example, and I want it to be, let's say 2400, for example, all right? And in doing so, I can, you know, the line that I just created without any form of accuracy can now be entered or corrected very, very precisely. So I'm going to try to do this as well. So if you notice now, if I were to just click on the slider, I can now begin to manipulate this along the x-axis. So I'm going to have it, let's say, at 3 meters, for example. And then at this point on Y, if I click on it, you'll find that it now goes up and down. Okay, I'm going to change this to, let's say, 2400 as well. And I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to change this one to, let's say, 1000. And I'm going to click and change the, the X coordinate to... 1500. Notice right now, we can make the lines, which is not very accurate, to right now, it can be really quite precise, quite precise in terms of coordinate location.